Welcome back YouTube. This is Dave with Injection Molding Skills and more. Um, today actually what we're going to go over is a dynamic check ring study, how to perform one, and why the purpose of having one is. Uh, a lot of people call them a non-return valve or a static check ring um, test is what they call it, but a lot of people call it dynamic check ring study, but all it is is it's a purpose of checking to see if your check ring is uh, more or less repeatable. So like your cushion, your screw recovery time, and your fill time. Those three variables really are the key to it all. So if, let's say you have a cushion that bounces around a lot. That could be part of it if you're not holding a good cushion. Two, you're metering back different times all over the place. That could be another issue. And then your fill time it could be going all over the place. Like let's say you got your fill time at uh 2.5 seconds and then all of a sudden now you're filling it in three seconds or you're filling it a lot faster um like around two seconds so what's happening is that material is actually blowing around the check ring that means your check ring might not be sealing off correctly so in this next video inside of this video you'll see what i'm talking about what a check ring is what a ball check is um like a and then you'll be able to see the differences of how the materials flowing by it and then i'll go over with you guys on the whiteboard over here on how to check like there's a couple different ways you could do it but the, the way that everybody does it you know you shut off all your hole pressure and you do 10 shots and you weigh them and then that'll tell you if you're it really consistent because if you're filling out a part and that part is about 95 to 98% full after you take the hold off. Those parts should be the same always, okay? So I'll show you that in the next video. Check ring. Mater back. Material here. Material feed. Check ring. Material flows under it. See how it moves back and forth? That's letting the material in when it's picking up a shot. And when it goes forward, it pushes it back. There's a ball check. Material flows out this way. That ball goes back whenever the material goes forward.
Okay guys, so we're back. I wanted to show you this. Let me turn this camera just a little bit. Okay, so this here is a, a regular check ring tip. So this is the screw tip. This is the check ring and the threads that thread onto the end of the screw. This is the direction of material. So if you're picking up material, you can see the material goes around the check ring. So it goes underneath the check ring. There's a hole underneath there where it fills through. And then once you start shooting forward, that check ring slams back forward, seals off against the screw flight heads and stuff, and pushes the material forward. What happens is this gets worn down, gets cracked, you know, just different things happen to it. So what you can do to check that is you can actually take, let's say you take first stage, okay? Um, so you wanna take like your first stage injection okay and use it only okay no hold at all okay so you're gonna do like uh, so you're gonna do 10 shots okay you're gonna weigh all these so weigh them get the weight on all of those then you're gonna weigh them if they're if they're all different and they're not real close with each other and that'll give you an indication that you're having a bad, you got a bad uh, check ring and it's not sealing off. And what's happening is the screw is actually going for, farther forward. So what happens is, is that material is actually going back around it and going back this way instead of going forward. So that's one way you could do it. Another way you could do it is to take your nozzle heats on your nozzle, like your nozzle and your end cap on your, on your press, which... This, it's not a good thing to do because you're using a lot of pressure. But what you can do is you can actually freeze off this area here and try to shoot forward. And what it should do is it shouldn't do anything. The material that's in there, your shot size, it should just go down just a little bit. And then like deadhead, it shouldn't do nothing at all. But if you do it and it starts going, it starts moving forward and creeping and going forward, that material is going somewhere. So what happens is it's going back around this way. Okay, another way you could check to see if it's actually doing it too is, <clears throat> let's say you're running your, your press and all that. You can actually watch the screw as it's shooting forward, as it's plunging the material into the mold, because it's supposed to be a plunger. So what it's supposed to be doing is it's supposed to be doing, rotates back when it goes to shoot the material forward, it plunges into the mold, okay? Well, if you watch it, you can watch the screw and you can actually see the screw turning. It's only supposed to turn just a hair, not a whole lot at all. If it starts rolling like this, that's another indication that you got a bad check ring too. So I hope this helps you guys out as far as um, a check ring study. This is the easiest way that i found to do it. So what you're using is you're using first stage, which that is your dynamic area. That's the, the area that you're filling the part the most. So that's what you want to use. You want to use no hold. And fill the part all the way out. Run you 10 shots and mark on them. One, two, three, and so on. And do this all the way down through there, you know. And then get your parts out, weigh them, and then see where you're at. And then this is a good indication to tell maintenance, hey, man, I did this study and this is what I got. And it's, and it's off. If it's like 3% or higher, you take your highest. What you want to do is you want to take your highest number. So out of these 10, you want to take the highest number, okay, and the lowest, and then take those two, and you want to divide those, okay, and then that'll give you a percentage of what what your it what it's going to be. If it's three percent or higher, then you you got a problem somewhere. It's, it's not sealing off, okay, guys. So <clears throat> let me know what you guys think on the video. I appreciate all the support and help. Um, uh, um, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying the best to give you guys as much information as I can and content that I can. So just comment down below what you guys would like to see next in the next video. Rick, I will get back with you on the next uh, thing on that uh, valve gates. That was a good comment. I appreciate that, buddy. I will talk to you guys all in the next video.